14th May 1879 Just another ordinary day in our very ordinary village Munyigumba, my father, is the chief of our village. His work is to ensure that everything runs accordingly in this village. I, Mkwavenika, the prince, who is now of age and ready to assume the throne. <laughs> I guess you can say, I like it. No, I love it. So the question is, am I ready? Who cares? I'm still young and my dad doesn't look like he's dying today. <laughs> Yo, Mukavi, let's go hunting, buddy. Let's go now. What? Now? It's too early. Let's go so that we can meet the girls later. Shh! Don't speak loudly about the girls. You know my father is near. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's go. Let's go now. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, let's go. What was that? It's from the village. Let's go. Father! 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 Ah! <laughs> Father! 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 My prince! Let's go! Let's go, my prince! Let's go! This is not happening. This is just a bad dream. Kovinika, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! My prince, we have to find the others and fight back. My prince, are you hearing what I'm saying? We have to find the others and fight back. My prince, we don't have time for sorrow. Let's find the others and fight back. Oh, my Romo. When is this nightmare going to end? So that I can go back to my father, my village, and my throne. What is happening? Am I still dreaming? Why doesn't this nightmare end? Who are these people? What just happened? Put down your spear, my prince, for it is I, Grandpa Mwachaloa. Grandpa Mwachaloa, you are alive? Yes, you can come out now, Seko. My prince, so what is the plan? Plan? For what? Plan for taking back our land. There is no plan, Grandpa. All you have to do now is survive. Yema! This is a disgrace to the spirits of our ancestors. Your father did not raise a woman. He raised a man, a king, who was going to be our firm leader. Now you just want to survive? You want to survive? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't what you expected. But I'm not my father. Our tribe shall not perish because of you, Mkwabinika. He shall not perish. Why don't you just tell him the truth? 
Maybe he'll change his mind. My grandfather is going to die. What do you mean? Today. How do you know? I had a vision. He's going to die. That is why he needs to know that he'll leave a good king behind. The one that will prosper. Yes, my prince. My granddaughter has the gift of visions. She has never been wrong. Once a tree falls, my time will be over. What do you mean? The falling of a tree is a sign that he's going to die. Once a tree falls, that means his time is over. I saw blood. Moromo, do you understand any of this? Because I don't. Explain it to me. Shut up! Farewell, my prince. Grandpa, 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 Grandpa. Grandpa. I know you're sad and mourning, but just imagine how I feel. I knew about everything before it happened. Attack on the village and even the death of my grandpa. I knew too. That is why he sent Makihombo to take you hunting. Did Makihombo know about this? Did Makihombo no, know? No, he did it. <laughs> my prince, you need to promise me that you will follow the world spirit and bring back our village and bring back our land. Bring back our farm. <laughs>